Thank you for watching the attached video here. It was actually filmed in, I believe, three sections. So it does jump around a little bit. It's one of those hassles when you're trying to do filming on one hand, talk, and actually do some type of a manipulation with the machine on the other hand. This particular video has to do with using the alignment laser kit from American Photonics. It uses a small laser pointer that is mounted in a precision uh, fabricated head that screws onto the bottom of the laser head. It shoots a beam up into mirror three. If you follow mirror three, then over to mirror two, mirror one, and etc. Now the paperwork that comes from American Photonics indicates that the proper alignment as far as they are concerned is from mirror three to mirror two to mirror one. However, you are not actually shooting at the mirror, not initially. If you watch the video, you will see that I'm actually using a piece of paper in between the mirrors so that I can see where the dot is and how the dot is moving. This is extremely important because what you want is you want that dot to be absolutely parallel to the X movement to be from mirror three. You want it to be absolutely straight as far as the uh, carriage movement for uh, the Y axis. And when you get to the end, once you have aligned mirror one, then what's interesting is that the photonics people say, then you actually use the laser itself and move the laser in its mounts to align into mirror one. So I don't have it lined all the way because my uh, control board on my new system um, crapped out on me and I'm having a hard time finding uh, the newest version of the digital control panel. But uh, please bear with me. Hopefully you will enjoy the video. Hopefully you will get something constructive out of it that will help you in aligning your system, your mirrors for optimum performance. Take care. Okay, this is uh, part three. I'm making this short video. I have the head leveled out and it's all back in here. And I thought I would show you the American Photonics uh, laser uh, focusing system. So this is the way it starts out. It looks like you've got your standard head here. I'm going to pause this a moment while I put the uh, laser alignment unit on. All right, I'm going to pick this up. This is the American Photonics laser alignment unit. Looks like it has a bullet in the bottom here, but actually this unscrews and there's three uh, button batteries in here. The laser shoots up or replaces the bottom of your head where your final focus lens is. Unscrew that focus lens and cap. Screw the American Photonics unit on here and you are ready to go. What it does is it shoots a laser up. It hits your mirror number three and comes out and it aims to mirror number two. Now I'm going to shut off all my shop lights so that you can see this here a little bit better. That's a little dark, but I wanted you to be able to see what's going to happen here. So, eh, let's turn one light back on. Before what was happening, let's see if you can see this laser dot. Before what was happening was that as I've moved my head, that laser dot went all over the place. Okay? So let's, this is what I'm doing, is I'm simply moving my head back and forth. Now once that head is aligned, there, we'll do it this way after all. As you can see, that dead dot the, the white dot actually does not move and that is the way that this should be once you have your mirror three lined up which is your head so that it lines up and it's straight before what was happening was that this light this dot 
was going up and down. Now you'll notice that what I have here is a piece of paper. Okay? I am not trying to focus on to, and this is exactly what American Photonics says, you do not try to focus on to the mirror. You focus onto a piece of paper, okay? That paper is on top of the Y rail so that no matter where you go, no matter where your X is traveling, you are lined up, period. That's all you're trying to do is get the, the laser, the alignment beam, to travel from your head, mirror three, toward mirror two. That's all that you're trying to do in aligning the head. And once you get that concept down into your head, it actually lines up pretty decent. The second thing that I did is I then took this piece of paper. Yeah, bear with me here. Ah. Took this piece of paper. <laughs> Come on. And stuck it. Oh, this is going to make me mad here. Just a sec. Bear with me a moment. I'm going to put a piece of tape on this paper. Now, this paper happens to have um, be printed with um, ruled lines, which makes it a little easier to, for me at least, to visualize what in the world I'm going on. And my tape here just decided to tear. Okay, there we go. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that piece of paper over the big hole in the back of the cabinet. As you can see, I've stuck it over the big hole in the back of the cabinet, and it's not sticking real well. But what I want you to see is what happens with that red dot, okay? It is steady, and I am moving the Y carriage back and, back and forth, front to back in the cabinet, and that dot is steady. Now what that has done, what I've done, is that the alignment laser is shooting up, it's coming out of the mirror three, and headed over. What I did was I used the screw adjustments on mirror two to adjust so that that dot was steady, right? Exactly where it is. What you find is on these heads, these mirror heads, that there are three screws. The bottom head, no matter which corner it is on the bottom, adjusts for up and down. So if that beam, is your dot is moving up and down, this is the screw that you're going to adjust, regardless of which bottom corner it's on, okay? It could be this screw, which on my number three is the bottom. Doesn't make any difference. The middle screw between the three adjusts for left and right diagonal. I've got an X on here to remind me that what it's doing is that it's adjusting that beam from top right to bottom left, or top left to bottom right, depending on how the spot is traveling. The third screw, which will be the top outside screw, whether it's on the right, left side or the right side, always will adjust that beam left to right, right to left. So remember, your bottom screw, no matter where it is, adjusts from bottom to top or top to bottom as it's, how, as it's moving. And every time you adjust it, what you're actually doing is you, you may shift it up, but you'll notice that it gets tighter and tighter. Or you may shift it down, but it gets tighter and tighter. The same thing applies to your X, and the same thing applies to your, uh, I'm sorry, to your crisscross, left-right, um, diagonal, okay, and the same thing applies to your left and right. It may, the beam itself may move, but every time you adjust it, 
it's getting tighter and tighter, or it's moving out, in which case you're going the wrong direction. But you finally get it down to where wherever it is, it is staying at that position. And as you can see back here, no matter where I am moving my Y carriage, no matter where I move, now I'm moving, okay, no matter where I move my X carriage, that dot is staying consistent. Now, what happens is when you move to the back, and I'm going to take this paper out of here now, and on the back side, what you've got now is your X beam coming, or is your beam coming into your number three mirror. And this is the one that I'm still working on, so bear with me. I know that my beam coming in here is consistent, okay? I know that that dot coming in here, where in the world are my, on my camera? Okay, there we are. Did I get it? Oh, this is what happens. This is what happens when you're having fun. At any rate, my dot, well, here you go. We'll look at the paper through the hole. Okay, my, my beam is consistent. As long as I get my thumb out of the way, the beam is consistent. So now what I've got to do is line that dot up with my number three, I'm sorry, my number one mirror, and bring it up into my laser. Now at this time I don't have that done. I've been having problems with my system. Somewhere along the line I managed to blow out my digital board. So I've got to replace that in the whole nine yards before I can finish up in here. But here is the American Photonics laser alignment system. That's all that it really amounts to. This guy has got a little laser pointer down in there. What looks to be like a bullet is actually the cap with three button batteries. When you're done, screw your bottom focus uh, lens and its retainer back on and you should be good to go. Now, according to the papers from American Photonics that comes with this laser alignment unit, you go from mirror three to mirror two to mirror one and then you break down and you start your alignment with the tube. The last piece of alignment that you do is actually the tube. Tube goes into mirror one, which is already aligned with mirror two, which is already aligned with mirror three because we've used the reverse on our laser. So the last thing I have to do now is I have to align mirror one and with so that it's running correctly and, lay, and align it with then my final alignment being my tube. Alrighty, that pretty much takes takes you through my machine so far. And the biggest problem that I initially had, which started this whole thing, was the fact that this head plate was not level. And then every time that I ran it, the dot over here was moving all over the place, and so that takes care of that. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, drop me. Uh, put a line or a note in the comment section down there and I will try to post back as to what I found or to answer your question. This, by the way, is my near line and it's going up through my wire chain and will eventually be hooked up to some sort of a, a air assist unit here. This is a uh, alignment block for uh, setting up an alignment laser. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. This is John, and have a great one.